Hello everyone. So it has all come down to this. Woking need a point to secure National League survival. So John, firstly, how are your nerves doing for today? Badly. <laughs> Home form's been really good since the turn of the year. Just got to put all their focus now, getting that at least a point today. Yeah, ideally a win, please, just to settle the nerves. Back to you in the uh, studio, Tim. Jonathan Preston for Media. Thank you very much. Will, how are you? I'm good. How good to see you again. Adventures been. They've been good, man. Gillingham has been fun as far as the stadium and whatnot. Still got your unbeaten record. Still have the unbeaten record, yeah. We need the unbeaten record today. Uh, Mike, home form to Mike Hall has been really, really good uh, since he's come in over the last few months. So hopefully they can bring, that, that could be the crown of glory today, screwing survival. Well, I hope so, because the big problem all season, as everyone knows, has been scoring goals. Uh, and really, what we don't want is obviously Boreham Wood winning and Woking needing to win, and it's getting near the end. Then it's going to get incredibly nervous. Woking need to really, if they can, get their noses in front. But it's such a difficult one to call, isn't it? Make sure you put it on YouTube. 2-0 to the Cards today and staying up. Any predictions for today? An absolute home win, obviously. Securing safety. I think we'll win today and I think it'll be a cracking end to the season. And it will be really well deserved given where we've been. How's it going? Good. How are things going over here? All good. Good deal. Good Does look like it is going to be a sellout here at the Lafayette Community Stadium. So that is uh, fantastic to see, and hopefully uh, they will be rewarded uh, with, a, with a fantastic match and hopefully survival. It has all come down to this. Woking need a point to secure National League survival. It has been a long old season for the Cards. Michael Doyle has come in and he's put them on the right track. They just need to get that draw today. They're now in front of a packed Lafayette Community Stadium. There is no better way to secure a fifth season of National League football. So most certainly got underway then. Woking just need that point. One ball. Now Edwards retrieves it back and flicks it to his left. Here comes Burko down left hand side, being stopped in his tracks though. Burko plays it in the field. Now Anderson back towards Burko. Burko bundled down to the ground. It is a free kick. Good work there from Akinoa to lay it down for Brown. Brown turns now. Jane Luca through a goal. It's safe for Neil. What a chance there for Jaden Luca. One on one with Neil. Should have buried that, but a terrific save from the far goalkeeper. Burko trying to keep hold of the ball now flicks it forward towards Anson. Anson hooks it towards the centre of Brown runs onto it. Brown close to the box. Reese Brown was he brought down there for Gray. The referee had a good view of that. He has given a free kick to Woking. And this will be taken about 22, 23 yards out. A yellow card shown to Sam Graham as well. Great work there from Reese Brown. So a free kick in a good position here for the cards for Curtis Edwards to take. But Edwards steps up, take the frigate, wraps his right foot around the ball, goes to the wall and hits over the bar on the follow-up from Jermaine Anderson just beyond the six-yard area. Half hour played it at Lafayette Community Stadium. No deadlock broken so far, but again, working certainly be pleased with some of the aspects they're pressing. They've had the best chance to match with Jane Lucas one-on-one. -on -one. Saved by Chris Neal. Just need to avoid defeat. Fair few nerves a bit lightly here as well. Luca both arms raised. He takes the corner from the right hand side. Headed towards goal just over the bar from Dan Moss. Big opportunity there. And you really just hope Woking aren't going to rue these missed chances. You know, they've had three this half. Still, I suppose, looking on the bright side, at least they have created opportunities. The energy levels are up 100% today as well. Yeah, that's been a familiar story for Woking this season. Just need to take one to put it simply. And it's fouled. And I've managed to tame Woking pretty well. You know, the longer the game goes on, knowing that you can't score goals, the pressure starts to build. Four minutes of stoppage time here at Lafayette Community Stadium. Can Woking go into half time on a high and take another big step closer towards safety? And Anson to take. Anson's throw to Edwards. Edwards twists and turns and pokes it now to Anderson. Anson, tidy feet. Anson brought down there from Ormrod. So it's a free kick to Woking. 25 seconds left in this first half. 
take your witness towards the back post rather than going for a goal himself. Cross towards the back post, headed, it's hit towards goal, it's gone in! It's gone in and won't get him taking the lead! In the last minute, it's time, it's Tanji Akinola! What a goal for Woken here in the fourth minute stoppage time, the first half from Tanji Akinola. John, just what Woking needed. Oh my goodness me, it could not have come at a better time. Great free kick from Edwards into the box and there was Akinola just to tap it home from point blank range. Joyous scene around here, and rightly so, and it's what Woking deserve really. There goes the half-time whistle, Tanji Akinola has Woking in front of Woking had the better the chances in that first half again the best one was from Dan Mosso the bar but thankfully Akinola from the free kick prodded it home at the back post John your thoughts on the first half before we go back to the studio well what an end to the half really I was about to say before that goal went in the Woking might regret missing those glorious opportunities but they got that all important goal just before half time and that gives them a platform to build on I have to say, I think they played really well in the first half. They've been aggressive, they've been positive. So, so far, so good. Certainly is, John. So, half-time here at the Lafayette Community Stadium and Woking lead, AFC filed by a goal to nil. As it stands, Woking will be remaining in the National League, but I'm sure there's plenty more twists and turns to come. Just 45 minutes separating Woking from a fifth season in non-league's top tier. Just lift off with Woking getting us underway for the second half. Whitehead again. Now Moss wins it back in the centre. Plays it back to Edwards. Edwards floats it with his right foot. Here's Brown on the right hand side. Edge of the box. Plays it a couple of yards behind to Jaden Luca. Luca now cuts in. Luca plays it short to Anza. Anza back kills it to Luca. Luca can't his shot just wide. That's a good chance. The double advantage there from Woken. Really nice combination play there. Plays a short pass to Burko. Burko knocks it inside to Luca. Luca inside left. Here come Woken. Jane Luca bursting forward. Still Jane Luca. What a run for Luca. Lays it off to Brown. Brown shot deflected towards goal. Just wide. Should have been a second there for Woken. They start off the second half really brightly. Jane Luca has come out the second half excellently. Gave it to Brown. His shot just trickled wide. Five deflections. So it's a Woken corner. Luca towards the back post. And it falls here. The shine to Buckethead. It's Akinola again. Woking are tuning up, a humongous step towards National League safety. Taji Akinola has really stepped up and been that hero for Woking today. Well, a magnificent strike from Akinola. He really kept his head, looked up and drilled it low and hard into the bottom corner of the net. Fantastic for Woking and that really does give them some breathing space. Files about to get his back underway. Moss to take it. Just level with the penalty air on the right side. Throws it to Brown back towards Moss. Nice flick inside from there from Moss. Lovely skill. Luca back to Akinola. Akinola puts in the cross towards the back post, headed away from Graham. This is Brown though, inside left. Woken in the attacking third. Brown out on that left hand side. Plays it through now. Has a chance for a third. It's played square towards Luca. And it's deflected off Conway into the hands of Niels Hansen. And now Woken really have that confidence now to try and go and get another goal so throw taken for foul head away for Copper just confirm as well Charlie Kendall's gone for Reese Browns has a double sub made from Woking so some fresh legs up front as well but Burko loses balance gets Hosanna good work there for Oyleke to step in now Burko into the feet Edwards Woking the attack of third Edwards finds Kendall left side of the box Kendall's shot across the face of goal just trickles wide Really good chance there for a third goal. Headed away for long. Balls to looping up inside the box. Luca wins header. Now Graham heads out the box again. Header run there from Akinola. Now it falls here for Burko. Oh, that is outstanding. Another goal here at the Lake Bay Community Stadium for Kevin Burko. Inside left, just under 25 yards out. Whacked it with the laces of his left boot. No chance of Chris Neal. 3 0 to Woken. Goodness me, it's that man Burko again with that left foot of his. What an absolute pile driver. He was miles out. Hit it low and hard, and it went past the keeper, and hopefully that's it. It's gone to Woken. I think it's party time now here at the Lafe Community Stadium. Kevin Burko with another goal on home soil. And Woken. Just need to see this one out professionally. 
good to see Woking not taking their foot off the gas. Yeah, everyone's out with each other. It's been a, a top team performance from Woking today. Three minutes to go here of normal time. Lay Effect Committee Stadium. Woking only needed a point today, but they've gone above and beyond that. They lead fouled by three goals nil. remain in the National League what a game for Woking again so many nerves coming into today but the players didn't feel any nerves at all they defeated Fylde by three goals to nil and an accomplished team performance and probably the best under Michael Dawes reign the John Sonfjord motions Woking are safe in the National League so much relief so much joy around the place at the moment well never in doubt was it <laughs> right from the outset though, Woking were on it. It's was a, been a superb performance, it really has, as I say. You know, you wondered in the first half whether they were going to rue those missed opportunities, but they got their noses in it just before half-time. And then in the second half, they powered on, they never let up. The intensity levels were excellent and they scored three really good goals and, you know, deservedly run out winners today. And what really impressed me was that they showed no anxiety at all. They were supremely confident out there and that's down to the manager really, getting the players properly prepared and they were excellent today. just looked so relaxed it was such an accomplished team performance and yeah just uh, just on the pitch yeah, there's, been, there's been a flare for on the pitch no fans have actually got on the pitch but again the players are embracing each other clapping the fans all around the ground they just look relieved but again smiles on the faces it's been a long hard season for Woking <laughs> Me for. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not interesting. Well, Martin, when I always get a good picture with you, of course you can. Oh, hang on, have I done? Um, it's a bit technical for oh, you, that, Ian. Uh, and, and is it pressing the way? One, two, three. There you go. Thank you so yeah, much, obviously. Who knows today? He's his family, apparently. We actually didn't see that. No, we did. It's for, for a peer review. Yeah. And then I think, yeah. apart from that, yes, can I say here? Yeah. No. I think they it was a big occasion, you could feel it. the first 20 minutes, I felt like we were a little bit nervy, but we created a lot of chances and... Uh, thank you. All the best, thank you. Cheers, lads. See you on Friday on pitch. Oh, yeah. Oh, is that this Friday, yeah? Next Friday. Oh, next Friday. Friday. What, the Le yeah. Legends yeah. game? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll be yeah, in touch. Yeah, we, we can talk about that now. Yeah. What, are we having still in goal? Or? <laughs> no. Halfway. <laughs> Well, thank you for a great season. Thank you, mate. Like I said, I'll fly you over every week if I need to. I'll build you a house on the halfway line.